Welcome. Thank you for being here today. Yes. My name is Catherine. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. I'm a lawyer for Lawyers for Truth. We are a group of lawyers, engineers, other professionals, and other volunteers who have had enough. And we assembled in December of last year to try to brainstorm how we could help everybody navigate through all of this. We are here today to let you know that you are not alone. What was supposed to be two weeks to flatten the curve, not to overwhelm our healthcare system, which seems to still be the case, when we know that that's an absolute lie. Now we're into 10 months of restrictions that do not make sense, and in many ways are causing a lot of harm, and are violating our human rights and freedoms. We know that what's happening in Alberta, Canada, and the world has nothing to do with the virus. It's all about control and manipulation. We are in a toxic relationship with our government. Unfortunately, most Albertans and Canadians have been led into fear, led by fear, led by misinformation, specifically omitting specific information that is important for us to know when we're trying to navigate this alleged pandemic. On January 18th, 2021, former Chief Medical Officer for Health for Ontario, Dr. Richard Chagas, wrote Premier Doug Ford and stated, quote, Outside of long-term care, the risk of dying if you are infected with COVID is probably less than 0.2% overall. And deaths are concentrated in the frail elderly. We know this. We've, we've known this for a very long time. He further states, lockdown was never part of our planned pandemic response, nor is it support, supported by strong science. There are significant costs to lockdowns, lost education, unemployment, social isolation, deteriorating mental health, compromised access to the healthcare system. He further states, we need to change course. Nobody's listening to him. Nobody that's holding the strings of, our, of the power anyway. This is not about a virus, and we know that it's about control. We are very concerned that with zero debate, Henshaw and other health dictators have enslaved us. But not us here. We know. We know what's going on. And by showing up here today, you are standing in your truth, and for that, Lawyers for Truth applauds you. Governments do not offer any advice as to how we are to maintain our health care. Instead, they tell us that if we don't do what we're supposed to do, we are told if we don't stop asking questions, if we dare to gather at a peaceful rally, visit with our friends and family, or attend our place of worship, we will be ticketed and arrested. The media and governments drone on about the requirement to socially distance and wear a mask. They say it's mandatory. It's not. But the rules don't apply to them. They apply only to us. They're making a mockery out of all of us citizens. They have forgotten that they work for us and that they have to answer to us. Members of Lawyers for Truth are here today. Thank you. Thank you. We attend most rallies, if not all of us, then, then as many of us as possible. And we've been attending all the way since, I guess, April or May of last year. We have all tried to assert our mask exemption. We've been denied service, we've been berated, we've been yelled at. When a business denies you service or, or denies you entry into their establishment and forces you to wear a mask, this is called discrimination, and it is prohibited under the Alberta Human Rights Act, and it is a violation of our chartered rights and freedoms, sovereign individuals. Today's rally in support of our human rights and freedoms, we are here, we're not here today to tell you not to wear a mask. 
would not be hypocritical. If you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. I believe it's the most overt symbol of oppression. Yeah. Muzzle. I agree. It is a muzzle. Yeah. Notwithstanding that, if we are for free speech, if we are for protecting all human rights and freedoms, it's up to you whether or not you wear a mask, not our government. But the thing is, when you hear Henshaw every day, and you hear Nenshi every day, and you hear Jason Kenney every day telling you that there's a mandatory mask bylaw or order in place and that you must comply, what they fail to admit is that section 24 of the order clearly states that there are exemptions. The bylaw in the city of Calgary states there are exemptions. The and the further, on the website of the city of Calgary, it clearly states that businesses are not expected to deny service. And further, that they cannot ask you for that information because it's private. Who do these people think they are? Lying by omission. So let me just give you the ten, some of the, an example of the 10 instances that are currently under the CMOH Order 42 that people are talking about or the governments are talking about. For instance, for instance an exemption applies for those under two. An exemption is permitted for those unable to place, use, or remove a face mask without assistance. And this is the one I really like. There is an exemption for anyone who is unable to wear a face mask due to a mental or physical concern or limitation. Yes. Further, the order assigns no authority for who is to provide this exemption. We know that AHS has been directing doctors, I believe, I, I really do believe under the threat of being sanctioned or, or otherwise having their livelihoods destroyed. They've been directed not to provide mask exemptions. And they're complying for the most part. So when the order does not provide for the authority to give, who is to give a mask exemption, in our opinion, that means that we don't require a doctor's medical note. Given this is the case, Lawyers for Truth saw no reason why lawyers could not provide this mask exemption under the law. So that's what we're doing. If you have a mental or physical concern or limitation, you are exempt. I have one! All you need is reading comprehension skills to understand this. Look at the order. The exemption that you get if you contact one of our lawyers to obtain a mask exemption letter will also contain, uh, set out a notice of liability where you can inform the business owner as to what possibly could come down the road for them. Yes, there can be repercussions for those who refuse service and deny goods. If any employer is requiring you to provide a mask exemption, we can do that for you too. They are not expected, they have a duty to accommodate you. So if you ha have any interest in obtaining this mask exemption, our, lo our lawyers are meeting with people and you can schedule an appointment at lawyersfortruth.ca. That's number four dot ca. We further believe that they cannot ask you for any documentation with respect to this. And more to the point, do you actually want to live in a world where you have to carry around paper documentation when you're absolutely healthy to go anywhere? No. No. This is bullshit. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, kids. Lawyers for Truth has been pounding the pavement, also trying to get this respect poster posted and displayed at, at, at every establishment. It says, respect is required. And it's expected that not only will they not be denying service and entry uh, due to uh, the Alberta Human Rights Code, but they will not ask you why. And this applies to the customers as well, because we know that a lot of people have, that have bought into this narrative 
can be just just as bad to deal with. Absolutely. They don't want to respect. You can obtain this poster on our website. You can download this. And uh, we encourage you, if you want to get involved, to help us get this information out to business owners. When business owners put this up on their in their storefront, it not only signals to the world that they are abiding by the law, which is what they are required to do under the CMOH Order 42, it tells everybody that this is a safe place for everybody to, to shop in and to enter. We're also hosting weekly Zoom meetings for um, those interested in the public. Uh, they're held Sundays at 7 p.m. and the link is on our website. Go there to register. It's an hour long and we'll try to get through as much information as we can and answer any questions. We're also working on other initiatives as well and um, I hope that we'll be back again to be able to update you. But we are active on Facebook and our website so please check both of those sites out for your information. I get that it's difficult in so many ways and it's easier and simpler to go along to get along with the hope that it's going to return to normal. Yet even with the delivery of the experimental vaccine, they're telling us that it's not going to stop the spread and you're gonna to have to wear a mask and be in some form of lockdown for the foreseeable future. What the hell is going on? People are afraid. And it's because of the messaging of the government and the media. Families and friendships have been destroyed. Our children aren't allowed to play in group sports. A young hockey player in Calgary was threatened to be tasered for playing hockey outside. Albertans are going bankrupt. Small businesses are being destroyed and many will never likely recover. Mental health concerns as we've heard, and thank you to the last speaker. They're, they're concerning because they're skyrocketing. It's not about a virus, and if we don't stand up, when are we going to stand up? Now. We want to empower you and others to think critically about this information. Arrest your cognitive dissonance. What is happening right now is that we are being fed a lot of information, and you have to use your power of discernment to wade through it. Be open to other perspectives. We can no longer get along to get along. You have to stop. If you know that what is going along does not make any sense, stand in your truth, be brave, and stop complying. There are more of us than there are of them. We need to come out in numbers. We encourage you to continue to write your local uh, and provincial government representatives. Financially support those organizations like Rebel News, JCCF, Constitutional Rights Centre, who are all fighting for us. They're helping us, in most cases pro bono. We need to show them our support because when we get ticketed, because that is bound to happen when we've been threatened for a long time about it, there is help. Don't be afraid. You're not alone. You have people in your corner and they will help you. Is there any update on that uh, Rocco Galati thing? Don't be afraid to assert your mask exemption. Attend rallies. Shut off the TV. <laughs> Critically analyze what the news is telling you. They have a bias. They only report one side of the story quite often. Be willing to have an open mind and do your own research. Our movement is growing and it's going to get stronger and it's going to get louder. We cannot stop until we reclaim our rights and freedoms. Thank you for letting us talk with you today.